Hello, good day everyone. Well, we're in the middle of the holiday season. And right now, Marlena and I are blessed to be serving with Hugo Ministries in Baja, California with a team from our church, Centerpoint. Centerpoint has sent us down to serve the, the pastors and the neighborhoods that we get to work with throughout the year through our high school trip, during Easter vacation, and during the multiple house bills that we do. This year, or this mission trip, we're putting on a uh, marriage conference, and it is uh, two marriage conferences. Tonight, Friday night, is with Pastor Javier Villalobos in Tantos, Todos Santos, and tomorrow, Saturday night, is with Pastor Flores, right here close to uh, Yugo. Today, we got all prepared, ready to go. And last, uh, our, my last devotional, we talked about unity, and we see unity as, we, as our team prepares to serve. We see unity here at Yugo as they host us and help us get ready. We see unity with the pastors, Pastor Carlos and Pastor Javier, as we work with them to serve their congregation and their communities. And I thought it would be a great time to hear again from our friend and brother in Christ, Pastor Ray, and he could give a devotional today, some words of encouragement for us as we are just celebrating and getting ready to celebrate the birth of Christ. Right? Such a privilege to be with you again, John. Um, and let me just tell you before we start, it's such, such a privilege um, to me to being able to share with you guys. This weekend is just an example of how much impact Center Point Church has been for the people of Ensenada. And I know that not only Ensenada, but in this time we have the privilege to have you here. So. Uh, let me just real quick share with you a word of encouragement. And here in Hugo, we are preaching about the Beatitudes. And I want to share with you real quick about Matthew 5, 3. I love this sermon of most of you. Most, most of us, if we have been in church enough, we heard about the Sermon on the Mount. Such a beautiful teaching from our Lord Jesus Christ. So um, Matthew 5, 3 says, Blessed are the poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. When I started reading these like years ago, I always thought that he was talking about financial poverty or just to trying to look poor or without resources or money. So when I kept like growing up, I realized that he, he was talking about something completely different. It was something even deeper than that. So blessed are the poor in spirit. For me, it's so awesome and so interesting to understand that every time that a beatitude starts with a blessed is the Greek word makarios, which it means deeply spiritually happy. It's, it's a joy that is beyond words. So right now he's talking to these type of persons that he calls the poor in spirit. And long story short, because we don't want to take the 45 minutes that I promised you that I was going to take. Uh, <laughs> poor in spirit. It's when a person realizes that he is in such a desperate need of God. When we are poor in spirit, we can recognize that without God, we don't have anything. And I think that type of situation, that type of state of the spirit, it's very beautiful. Jesus promises at the end of this beatitude, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So... When a person gets to a point that recognizes, Lord, without you, I cannot do anything. Without you, I am nothing. I so desperately need you. That very moment of comprehension is what opens the door for what we know as salvation and grace. So as we prepare for uh, starting this beautiful, beautiful season of festivities to being with family, with friends, let's not... Let's, let's keep remembering and reminding ourselves that we need God. We need Him, especially today. And to be poor in spirit is not something bad. It's actually something very, very good. When we recognize that we need Him, when we can say, Jesus, I need you. Good news is that He is ready. He is ready to fill us up. He is ready to be with us. He is ready to transform our lives. So let's 2022 be a year of new beginnings, of restoration, a year where we can say, Lord, 
I need you more than I needed you before. And let's be more poor in spirit, more needy, more in necessity of God. And whoever is in that situation, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Guys, thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. We are so, so in love with our Center Point Roseville Church. And in, on behalf of my family, my wife, Corelli, and my girls, Sophia, Melissa, and Gigi, we want to um, we wanna tell you, thank you so much for pouring and praying and being just there, being a family for us. So have a great season. Thank you so much, John, for <laughs> allowing me to do this. <laughs> thank so you for that, doing it. Was, it was awesome. I appreciate it. And I'm just going to say one thing as we close. The kingdom of heaven. And who introduces the kingdom of heaven here on earth? Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And we get to celebrate his birth very shortly. Mm. Let us prepare our hearts and our minds to receive him. And let us just bestow our gifts upon him as the three wise men did. God bless you, your family and communities. And Ray and I wish you a Feliz Navidad. Navidad. <laughs>